So how good can a five-year-old battery be? Let's find out. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So all the time here on YouTube, we're seeing new batteries introduced and tested on different channels. My friends Ham Radio 2.0 and The Smoking Ape love to do these videos. And I've even been guilty of doing a few of these videos in the past as well. But that's a brand new battery right out of the box that we're testing. I don't see anyone testing a battery that's been in use for four or five years. So recently I went and looked up the original purchase date of this Dakota lithium iron phosphate battery and discovered that that was November of 2018. So it's just shy of five years old at this point. And I have used the crap out of this battery. A little bit of backstory. First of all, I get a lot of questions every time I put this battery uh, in a video about is the battery broken because of the way it's taped up. The battery is not broken by any means, uh, but it comes with these two, uh, I believe they're called F-type terminals uh, that are on these batteries. So I just made a little adapter up that changed it over so I had an Anderson power pole to work with. And then I just wrapped some tape around it for a little bit of protection against uh, anything getting shorted out. So if you see it in a video, it is not broken. It's been like this you know, almost since day one. And it's been pretty good. I do need, uh, I do see that some of the tape underneath the first layer has broken. So I'll probably pull this off pretty soon and redo it. Another story about this battery, I bought it that November and we took a trip over to the mountains and rented a cabin uh, just after Christmas in 20, uh, 2018. So it would have been either very late 2018 or very early 2019. I had this guy sitting out on the deck rail at that cabin and managed to knock it off the deck rail. Well, if you know anything about the way cabins are designed uh, when, you're, when you're talking about them sitting on the mountain, from the top of that deck rail down to the ground was probably somewhere around 30, 35 feet. It hit the ground and started rolling down this mountainside. I wasn't even sure I would ever find the battery, much less it survived the impact and the roll down uh, down the mountain. But I went down and uh, was able to retrieve that. It ended up about 75 yards uh, down the hill from the cabin before it stopped rolling. And it miraculously survived all of that. So I've got to give real kudos to Dakota Lithium for building a fantastic battery. Now, I wish I had one of my Miatis or a Bio Inno that had roughly the same age and the same use, but I just haven't had those batteries uh, as long. So maybe we can do a video on those in a couple of more years when they've had a little bit more use and abuse and see how they hold up as well. So what I did for this test was I connected up the 891 radio. I don't have one of the fancy battery testers that are computerized, but I use the 891 because it'll give you a pretty constant one amp draw if you just leave it sitting there in receive. I used one of the watts up meters uh, in line with the battery or in between the battery and the radio so that I could record all of the data. I charged the battery to 100% the day before and then let it sit. So it probably sat and rested for about 12 hours before I began the test. So let's take a look at some of those test results now. The battery uh, started at 100% and it was 13.37 volts. I started the test at 447 one morning. Went ahead and just left it sitting there and honestly forgot to check it over the next couple of hours. So it was around 7 o'clock uh, that morning when I checked it next. The voltage had dropped down to 13.4 volts and it had consumed at that point roughly 2.33 amps uh, or amp hours out of the battery. I checked it again at 8 o'clock that morning. Voltage was down to 12.94 and it had consumed roughly 3.24 amp hours. Uh, again at 9.30, uh, 12.89 volts, and I consumed roughly half of the battery's rated capacity. Uh, remember, this is rated to 10 amp hours, and at that point I consumed roughly 4.78 amps. 
Uh, again, I checked it, or the, I'm sorry, the next time I checked it was at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 1300 hours. Uh, battery voltage uh, at that point was down to 12.51, and the uh, consumption out of the battery was 8.14. Now, uh, the next time I checked it was just 30 minutes later. I did notice that the uh, battery, once it was down to 12.51 volts, I wanted to start watching that a little bit closer. So at 1.30, just 30 minutes after that 12.51 uh, volt reading, I came back and the voltage was 12.13 and I had consumed 8.69 uh, amp hours out of the battery. So I saw a pretty big uh, decline there in the voltage between 1 and 1.30 in the afternoon. So I started checking it every 15 minutes, and it's a good thing I did. Uh, at 1.47, uh, just 17 minutes later, the battery voltage had dropped down to 11.21, and I consumed, it said, 8.97 amps out of the battery. Now, if you know anything about the discharge curve of a lithium iron phosphate battery, It'll stay relatively flat all the way up to a point, but once it starts to dive, it's not slow. It takes a real hard dive, and that's exactly what we saw here. Uh, so backing up at 147, it was down to 11.21. I basically sat there and monitor, monitored the battery at that point, and just a few minutes later at 155 in the afternoon, voltage was down to 9.96. Uh, the meter showed we consumed 9.11 amps, uh, but I discontinued the test there. I mean, basically, that battery is toast when the voltage is under 10 volts. And I knew if I just uh, kept it on for five or six more minutes, the BMS would have went ahead and taken it out. So, backing up to the last measurement, when the voltage was still above 12 volts. Uh, that was at 130. The voltage was 12.13 and we got 8.69 amp hours out of that battery. We'll call it 8.7 for round number's sake. So a four and a half year old battery that has been really, really used and abused gave me 87% 80, uh, of its rated capacity. So these batteries have a 10 year uh, lifespan according to Dakota Lithium. Uh, I'm going to guess in 10 years, it's probably, you're probably going to only get about 70%, 60 to 70% out of these batteries. So I wouldn't try to probably push it that long. I will probably go ahead and upgrade this battery and um, put something else in its place for one of my primary batteries and use this as a secondary battery. But I was still really, really impressed to get 87% out of a five-year-old battery. Guys, if you found today's information helpful, be sure to leave us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.